Ogusarai. Ogusarai, March 21, 1666, Edo, Japan, February 28, 1728, Edo, pen named Butsusarai, was a Japanese Confucian philosopher. He has been described as the most influential such scholar during the Tokugawa period. His primary area of study was in applying the teachings of Confucianism to government and social order. He responded to contemporary economic and political failings in Japan, as well as the culture of mercantilism and the dominance of old institutions that had become weak with extravagance. Sarai rejected the moralism of Song Confucianism and instead looked to the ancient works. He argued that allowing emotions to be expressed was important and nurtured Chinese literature in Japan for this reason. Sarai attracted a large following with his teachings and created the Sarai School, which would become an influential force in further Confucian scholarship in Japan. Life Sarai was born the second son of a samurai who served as the personal physician of Tokugawa Tsuneyoshi, who would become the fifth shogun. Sarai studied the Jews' I version of Song Confucianism, and by 1690 he became a private teacher of Chinese classics. He went into the service of Yanagi Sawayoshiyasu, a senior counselor to Tsuneyoshi, in 1696. He left in 1709 after the death of Tsuneyoshi and would turn away from the teachings of Jusai to develop his own philosophy and school. He is credited with the creation of Koshogi, an unusual form of chess. Teachings Sarai would write several influential works. In them he identified two fundamental weaknesses in the philosophy of Song Confucianism. The first was in the Bakufu domain system, which by the 18th century was in trouble. As a result, he doubted whether the reliance on finding an individual's ethical good was sufficient. As such he argued that the political crisis of the time required more than perfecting moral character. Moreover, he saw the ancient Chinese sage kings as concerned not only with morality but also with government itself. His second disagreement with Song Confucianism was that he felt putting too much emphasis on morality repressed human nature, which was based on human emotion. However, these weaknesses he felt stemmed not from a deficiency in Confucianism itself, but rather from a misreading of classic works of the four books and the five classics by Song Confucianists, which he insisted did not know the old words. Sarai went back to the ancient works for more reliable knowledge, stating the ultimate form of scholarly knowledge is history. To him, these historical works were the ultimate source, even for an ever-changing present. Sarai thought that study of philosophy began with the study of language. In this he was highly influenced by the ancient rhetoric school of the Ming period, which was a neoclassical movement that saw the Qin and Han periods as the model for prose, and the Tang period for poetry. The Sarai school introduced selections of Tang poetry, a work thought to have been edited by Li Pan Long, 1514-70, a founder of the ancient rhetoric school, to Japan, where it became very popular. As a result, his school is today sometimes also known as the ancient rhetoric, Kobonji, school. However it differed in that he saw it mostly as a means of accessing the five classics. He would also accuse other Confucianists in Japan, such as Hayashi Razan, of relying too heavily on Song sources such as Juzai. Sarai further differed from the Song Confucian viewpoints in other aspects. One was that the way was not a predetermined principle of the universe, but rather an establishment of men, of the ancient sages who described it in the Confucianist classic works. These works provided for the way, which was divided by rites, rei, and music, gaku. The former gave social order, while the latter was inspiration for the heart. In this it directly allowed for the flow of human emotions, something denied by the moralist philosophy of Song Confucianism. Sarai argued for the opposite, allowing one to be enriched through music and poetry. As a result of his teachings in putting emphasis on literature as a fundamental form of human expression, Chinese writing would begin to thrive in Japan, becoming an accepted artistic pursuit. His school would thus produce several such great writers of Chinese composition at that time. Sarai was furthermore a supporter of the samurai class. Institutions that were once under great leadership will later decline and more able men will be less likely to come to power. The samurai, he felt, were best able to overcome this through a system of rewards and punishment. He also saw problems with the merchant class at the time, which he accused of conspiring to fix prices. He was not, however, a great supporter of the lower classes. He argued, what possible value can there be for the common people to overreach their proper station in life and study such books? Some later scholars criticized his work and found his teaching to be impractical. Goranchu believed that Sarai was motivated to surpass Ito Jinsai, 
another Confucianist who had influenced him a great deal, and that Sarai took his arguments to the level of adversity for this reason. Had any of his teachings actually been implemented, Goy felt it would have caused extensive damage to moral philosophy. Another later scholar critical of Ogyu's teachings was Nikai Shikuzen, who was also familiar with Goy's opposition to Ogyu Sarai. Goy wrote his opposition to Sarai in his essay Haibutsu Hen, which was written in the 1730s, but not published until 1766 having been edited by Shikuzen and his brother. Nikai later wrote his own, highly emotional, rebuttal to Ogyu's beliefs in his work Hai Cho, 1785, wherein he rejected the idea that individuals could not better themselves through moral choices. Moreover, he claimed individuals were able to judge whether external ideas and actions as true or just. Denial of these morals, he felt, would leave only rights and rules to be followed. Master Sarai's Teachings Master Sarai's Teachings is a record of his teaching and exchanges with his students. The text was edited by his own students and contained their questions followed by his answers to them. The work was not released until 1724, but is thought to have actually taken place around 1720. In it he reinforces that literature is not so much intended for the purposes of instruction in morality or governance, but rather it simply allows for the flow of human emotions. Dot from this, answers on the former topics may be found, he argued. While Ogyu sought to redefine the sources of Tokugawa legitimacy, his purpose was clearly to strengthen the authority of the Tokugawa shogunate. Works He has also been credited for the invention of Koshogi, a large shogi variant, dated to before 1694.